All right, well, welcome to the A.J. Palumbo Center in Duquesne University, home of the 2019 Atlantic 10 Women's Basketball Championship. This is Atlantic 10 preseason basketball preview, and pleased to have with us today, head coach Dan Burt. This is your number six, huh? Number six, checking in with an impressive 114 and 54 career record, coming off a 25 and eight season in 2018. Now, starting out the season, just a few weeks. Tell us what the fans should know about this year's team. Well, we're a very experienced uh, team. We return 90% of our scoring and rebounding, and uh, we bring three red shirts off of a red shirt year uh, that are all going to contribute. Uh, so when you have that type of experience and productivity returning, you're expected to have a very good year, especially after winning 25 games the prior, previous year. Uh, we have high, very high expectations for our team and for the individuals on our team. Okay, now a couple weeks into practice, what has impressed you so far? The depth of our team is clearly uh, a strength. Uh, we could start a variety of different lineups. Uh, right now, I could not tell you, when you return 90% of your scoring, you probably would usually have your starting five already in your mind. This is not the case for this year. Uh, I could probably tell you two people that will start, and then the other three positions are certainly wide open, and there's some dogfights for those minutes. All right, now traditionally you guys have played a very difficult non-conference schedule. Now tell us about the challenges outside the A-10 this season. The non-conference schedule that we're playing this year is clearly the most difficult that we've ever faced. I've said before that it looks very similar to a Power 5 football conference type schedule. We've got TCU in Texas on a Texas road trip. Uh, we play Syracuse in a neutral site game, which we're really excited about. Uh, we have Penn State, we're going to play in-state college, and uh, we obviously have Pitt. But uh, it's other people that we're playing, like Liberty, who has won their league a, a number of years in a row, and Toledo, who's a very good program, Kent, who's on their way up, and St. Francis, who were in the NCAA tournament last year. Uh, there really is no off nights on our non-conference schedule. And very simply, the reason for that is, is so that we have no slippage, or if we do have any type of slippage, I, I guess I should say, if we have any s sort of slippage within the A-10, uh, if for us to make the NCAA tournament as an at-large bid, uh, we'll have a very strong resume. All right, now come January, the grind gets a little tougher. How do you see the strength of the Atlantic 10 Conference this year? We're, uh, we're excited to, to face uh, the Atlantic 10 schedule when it comes. Right now we're worried about TCU. All right. Okay, well, things kick off deep in the heart of Texas. TCU on November 6th. We host Mount St. Mary's in the home opener November 12th. The 2019 Atlantic 10 Women's Basketball Championship begins Tuesday, March 5th, with six first-round games on member campuses, then moves to Duquesne University for the quarterfinals, semifinals, and the championship game March 8th through the 10th, 2019. Thanks, Coach. Thank you for having me. We're back here at Duquesne University with senior guard Connor Richardson. Now, from a senior perspective, how do you think the team looks this year? I think we're looking pretty good. Um, we are very experienced, so it's a lot of just refreshing what we already know, not a lot of teaching. Uh, we know our concepts, we know our plays, so coming back this year, new season, basically the same team, we're ready to go. All right, now a few weeks into practice, what's caught your eye? What's impressed you so far? Um, I think our effort and our competitiveness, um, there's a lot of room for playing time for everybody. Everybody's pretty much good, 1 through 15, so we're fighting for playing time. So what has impressed me is our competitiveness. Everybody's ready to fight. Everyone coming to practice ready to go, so that's really exciting to see. All right, now, you live seven miles away from here, 2019 A-10 championship on your home court. What's the team need to do to raise that banner, hold that trophy? Man, take care of business. That's all there is. We know what we need to do. Um, our non-conference schedule is going to get us ready for conference. And, and if we do what we're supposed to do during conference play, that's all there is to it. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Back here at Duquesne University with senior point guard Chastity Almagrasso, first team all-conference 2018. All right. Last year here at Duquesne, senior perspective. How do you think this team looks this year? Like Coach and Connor said, we're both, uh, we're all very experienced. Um, our chemistry, we're basically just trying to protect, 
perfect everything that we've been um, working on the past four years. Um, but we look pretty good, so hopefully we can carry it on to our first game. All right, well, we're a couple weeks into practice. What's impressed you so far? Definitely just our intensity, our effort, our competitiveness. Um, we're playing at a really high level in practice, uh, which we have to do for our non-conference schedule coming up. But just everyone working really hard for two and a half to three hour practice, um, and that just shows how uh, experienced we are. Okay, now the 2019-10 championship, right on your home court, your local product. What do the Dukes have to do to bring home that trophy? I mean, there's nothing more really to say with that. It's on our home floor. Um, that should speak for itself and motivate us enough to take care of business um, in the conference. And then conference, once it starts, um, I mean, we're ready to go. Home court advantage. Excellent. Thank you very much.